here we have Echo, and this is going to be Echo's weekly update. <laughs> She's offering me a down as well as a sit. She's doing really great with those simple basics. Now she's offering me plates. We will follow through this one. We'll reward that to on your place. Once four feet are on there, and I say that command, she now has to follow through. So if she breaks away, I'll say, ah, uh ah, -uh, and we get her right back on there if she does continue to break away. We step a little out of sight, ah, uh ah. -uh. Good girl. She's holding this while my little one's playing in the room, watching the movie, as well as there's another dog in the room. Uh-uh. Good girl. Good girl. So she went to break away. She self-corrected before I even gave her that uh-uh. And I want to reward that. Because it means that she's understanding that she has to stay on there. And then she's almost just fighting off that urge to break away. Good girl. Using lots of treats. Echo is very uh, treat motivated. She's also very motivated by a tennis ball. So I call that her comfort item. When Echo seems maybe she's uh -uh, a little unsure of something. We use that tennis ball. I'm gonna get her right back on that bed. Keep it nice and positive. Place no treats and no praise. Uh uh. I don't want it to be that she gets a treat once she gets uh uh back on there because otherwise she's going to think that she's getting the treat for the breaking away action. And we don't want her to think that that's acceptable. Now that she's settled in, I'll give her a treat. Good girl. Using positive marker with a yes. Good girl. I'm going to touch that completely out of sight now. Ah, ah. Good girl. Give her a little bit of a jackpot, which just means more than one treat. This is a show where I really appreciate it, and she did a really great job. Ah, ah. That's also a self correction, so when she settles in, I'll reward that. Good girl. Anytime I make some type of growth with this command with echo so stepping on the site getting more distance working on the outside anything that's different or expanding on this command for her once we accomplish that i want to reward that and mark it so when i came back in from the other room i used those positive mark words and i rewarded it and gave her a jackpot so she understood she did a really good job and she's going to be more apt to do it next time Uh -uh. Good girl. So there's the mark your word. Reward. Good girl. to know about the place command is you will see me demonstrate the type of energy or behaviors I want to see back. So I want her to stay focused and calm and kind of collected throughout this. So I use a nice soothing but yet higher tone voice. Yes, good girl. It's soft but it's also inviting and greeting and it makes it where she understands that she's doing really good and she's going to be more apt to do it again. Good girl, we use that universal release word. Do it again. Echo place. Good girl. She did really good. I didn't even have to fully send her by standing over the top. I was able to have a distance and point to it, and she went right on there. Don't mind the noises in the background. It's really great for Echo to work with any type of distraction, whether it's in the same room as us. Like I mentioned before, she has some obstacles in the room with us. And then having other dogs in other areas of the building making noise sometimes can be enticing for her to want to go check it out or even want to kind of go join in on the fun of things. And she's staying very nice and focused. 
Once Echo knows you and she's comfortable with you, you will be her lifelong best friend. You have to have a lot of patience with Echo. She is very charismatic and kinderhearted. But very fun. She loves to play fetch. And she's very fast about it. She loves to zoom past the other puppies, older or younger, and try to get to that ball first. And most of the time she does because she is just like lightning speed. Good girl. Step out of sight again. Good girl. Good job. I could also do praise, but sometimes when you reward Echo with praise, she's just more apt to follow you and kind of forget that she was holding a command. So at the end of our uh, session, or even at the end of the command, that's when I do a lot of that physical praise and petting. And that's just something that it's a dog to dog basis. Not to say that Echo can't be praised for the pet, but just saying that sometimes she loses a little focus, so to try to set her up for success, I'm just kind of working with what works best for her. Good girl. We have somebody walking in. Distraction. See how she does, because it is somebody with another dog, so. Good girl. Yes, and it's okay that she popped up and is excited as long as she stays on uh -uh, that butt. Good girl. And she's doing exactly what I want her to do. Uh-uh. Uh. Yes. Good girl. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. So she broke away. Going to get her right back on there. Want to keep it nice and positive, but also quick. So she doesn't forget what we were doing. Nice. Good girl. And to end this on a positive note, uh-uh. I'm going to make sure I give her the release word before she breaks again. Good girl. And her reward, rather than doing a sit or a down and praise at the end of this, will be to probably go say hi to the other dog or just go get praise in general from someone. What a good girl. Okay. Yes, good girl. She's going to get the treat and then I'll let her echo. Go say hi to the other pup. And this, again, is just a reward system of its own. Good girl. Good job. So this is Echo and Kennedy in her weekly update of working on place. 